countries, on six continents. Uh, his TED talk on the seven secrets of the greatest speakers in history has reached over 1,000,000.4 views. So we are very happy and honored to have him here in Israel to share his passion and redefinition of water. Richard, please. <laughs> So, <clears throat> thank you all very much. It is such an honor, especially before Rosh Hashanah, to be here. And Ram, I hope you get your wish granted that you don't have to spend that much time in shul if you don't want to. But I want to <clears throat> start off by saying a big thank you to Ram for, his, for your extraordinary service during President Clinton's administration, for your fantastic environmental voting record when you were a congressman. And most importantly, and I know this is perhaps not universally popular here in, the United, in Israel, for <clears throat> representing the 65% of Americans who do not fully support President Trump. Thank you for standing up to me. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I am in awe of what you guys have done and what Israel has done in the water space. <clears throat> I'm an ex-lawyer. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a water person. But I care deeply, deeply and powerfully about the environment. <clears throat> I ran for Congress on the Green Party, and I think that water now, water now is the biggest crisis we face on the planet. So I wanted to take a step back, and let's talk about what this incredible magic resource is. And so one of my favorite, one of my favorite people in the whole world who almost was president of Israel, as you all know, is Albert Einstein. And unless we take a different view of what water is, I think we will use too much of it and not take full advantage of what it is and not properly regard it and take it for granted. So we go back to Albert Einstein. <clears throat> How many of you are Albert Einstein fans? Okay. 